Welcome back in for day six of the Get Connected Movement Challenge. Now our practice today is going to consist of hanging and some different crawling patterns. So during our check-in, we're gonna pay some attention to warming up the shoulders through some basic hanging progressions. I'm starting with an assisted hang here. As you can see, I still have some contact with my feet on the ground. And I'm just gonna go through some shoulder movements Real gentle movements like these shrugs and rolls are gonna serve you nicely. I'll alternate that with a floor sequence, starting with a forward fold, creating some length in the backside of the body. Next, walking my hands forward, finding a downward dog position. Deep breathing here. And then pressing forward, sinking the hips and going into a spinal extension. Any modifications here that are gonna work for you, whatever you need to do to check in. Our sequence today is going to alternate hanging and crawling. So starting off with a strong active hang, keeping the ribs tucked down, the pelvis leveled forward, transition into a foot hand crawl, forward and backward. Transitioning back into our hang, Strong, solid, stable shoulders. Breathing as relaxed as you can for a strong hang. And then transitioning into the inverted crawl. Again, forward and backward. And there'll be some other variations shown that you can throw in. transitioning back into the active hang. And if your setup allows for it, maybe you can add in a little swing. Make sure to breathe, transition down to the ground softly and into the lateral shuffle crawl. One more cycle in today's series. We're back into the active hang, strong grip, stable shoulders, 
ribs tucked, pelvis level. Transition down and into a squat walk. Again, keeping the core brace strong, the shoulders held back, and maintaining good length along the spine. We're back to the top of the series. Follow along with me for two more rounds. All right, good work, good work. That's gonna bring our day six practice to a close. I'm really stoked that we could start playing around with hanging. It's an incredibly beneficial movement, but when you think about it, as adults, we don't often get many opportunities to hang and to strengthen our shoulders in this way. 
by bringing this type of movement into your life on a more regular basis, I'm confident that you're gonna see a lot of positive changes. We'll do a little bit more hanging in tomorrow's practice as we conclude our challenge with day seven. I'll see you then.